Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Phasmophobia. In this video, we're gonna do something that I never do, which is play on amateur, as well as intermediate and professional nightmare and insanity. We're gonna be playing on every single difficulty in Phasmo and talking about all the differences between them. Uh, the reason for that is because usually when I play myself, I only play on insanity and nightmare, and sometimes I play on professional, but I literally never touch intermediate and amateur anymore, at least. Uh, but if you look at the stats across all of the players that play Phasmophobia, intermediate and professional are actually by far the most played difficulties uh, in the entire game. Let me know which difficulty you play in the comments down below. I would be very interested. But yeah, in this video, we're just going to compare all of them. Have some fun. I hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. And let's hop into the game. Let's go. Okay, so first of all, amateur difficulty we're gonna start with the basics recommended for new ghost hunters this one you unlock at the beginning uh when you download phasmo for the first time and you can see right here some of the things that you have you have a long setup time which uh, i'll show you in the truck it's basically a time in which the ghost cannot kill you cannot hunt you uh, a long grace period which means at the start of a hunt there's a short time uh where the ghost will not be hunting yet but it'll like warn you, I'm doing a hunt right now, and then after that time is over, it can actually kill you. Short hunt duration, which is simply just the length of a hunt. Sanity pills restore a lot of sanity. Uh, that is, I mean, it says what it says. Regain half of your lost equipment value if you die. Now, there's a few hidden things here as well, which we're going to talk about uh, while, we are, uh, while we are playing. But yeah, let's hop in. The, the things in the like screen before you click the difficulty that explain what the difficulty is only explain like the restrictions, right? Or like the extra features, but it doesn't cover all the features. For example, in amateur mode, you have the screens, which is really nice. You have that on most difficulties except on Nightmare and on Insanity. Uh, and this right here is what I was talking about. This is the setup timer. As soon as I, this doesn't go, it's a five minute timer. As soon as I walk in, this is going to be a special experience, by the way, right? <laughs> by the way, I have not played on amateur mode in so, so long. I've played this game for how many hours in a row? 25, 2,493 hours. And I have not played uh, amateur in a really long time. So as soon as you open the door, the timer will start ticking. That is the beginning of the game, and during this time, I cannot be hunted. Now, you can uh, destroy this timer by using the Cursed Possession. If you use any of the Cursed Possessions in any way, this timer will immediately get set to zero. It doesn't matter if you triggered a hunt or something. Uh, let's see what our Cursed Possession is, by the way. Oh, this... I wouldn't, I don't know if it actually works with tarot cards. This is going to be an interesting test. This is the one I don't know. Uh, oh, well... <laughs> Fuck me, dude. All right, then. <laughs> Well, that obviously ends the grace period, as you can see right there. So yeah, if you're playing an amateur and you want to get the most out of your difficulty, do not be an idiot like me and immediately pull the tarot card, get a death card, and get hunted right away. So yeah, that is the risk, because on amateur, you obviously still have a cursed possession. Also on amateur, you have every single hiding spot on every single map, which is extremely good and really rare on any of the other difficulties you'll this is something like that we're now used to at this point uh, because it's been this way for a really long time also did it hunt from here it hunted from here because it's been this way for a long time but when phasma first came out there was no such thing as blocking hiding spots if you told me that back in the day i'd be like what the fuck is that uh the, every hiding spot was just available every time the game has gone so much harder since it first came out if there's any people that have only played or that haven't played the game since launch, they're going to be like, what the hell is this? And you're going to be dying over and over and over again uh, while learning the ropes. Are you here or are you here? I don't know what's going on. Uh, Ghost is being a little weird. What the hell? Real stacks. Thank you for the t for the so many gifts. Okay, I'm going to grab some items. So now, obviously, because the ghost haunted, my setup period is gone. But I think that even if it didn't end my setup period, it would have still ended the... Or if I didn't get a hunt, it would have still probably ended the setup period anyway. That right there is a bit of a shame uh, because now we have cursed hunts. But basically, if you are playing on amateur, your hunts are only going to be like 20 seconds long or something, which is extremely short, like to the point where if you literally just sit in a room and just turn off your equipment, you're basically going to be like completely safe and not going to be caught. Uh, because the hunts are over so dang soon that by randomly roaming around, the ghost will almost never find you. Uh, where the heck is this ghost? Is it in the living room? How did it hunt from here? Oh, 
Here we go. Okay, so it's in the kitchen. It hunted from the kitchen, but it just didn't show me before that the temperature was low. Okay, do we have a kitchen ghost? Um, the There's a bunch of hidden settings, which, by the way, if you want to inspect each of the settings, like, super thoroughly, you can go into the custom difficulty if you have that unlock. I think you unlock it at 50, level 50. And you can select preset and then click on a specific difficulty to load it in as a preset, which allows you to, like, uh, inspect every single one of the values. So if you like some things about amateur and you don't like certain things about nightmare mode for example what i don't like on nightmare mode is that you don't have the screen so what you could do is you could load nightmare mode as this preset and then just change only that you have the screens available which will basically do nothing to your final to your revo reward you will still get a lot of money but it just gives you the screens uh or like so you can use them and have a little bit more fun if that's something you care about. And if that's not something you care about, you could play on amateur without the screens. It's just that the custom difficulty is really nice because you can kind of make up your difficulty. Uh, but I still think that these are like the... Any difficulty that's made by the developers themselves is like a staple of the action. Like, that's the game. This is what the game is supposed to be like. This is what the devs intended. Uh, and they're like... They're, they're the difficulties that most people tend to play on, at least if you look at the stats. According to the devs, the devs have said that, like, 60% of players plays on intermediate and professional combined, like, by far the most people. I don't even, I don't know the exact numbers of that stat, but, like, it, it was a huge, huge majority. Another thing, when you're playing an amateur, you have all the evidence. This is something that used to be in the game for every single... Um, like, there was only professional, intermediate, and amateur, uh, so there would always be all evidence, but with the addition of Nightmare, with the addition of Insanity, now you can play with two or even one evidence, uh, which is kind of nuts. The ghosts can also not change ghost room on amateur, which is really important. They don't roam as much, and they can change ghost room. So if I, like, like, identify this as for sure the ghost room, which I think I have right here because the temperature is low, um, you know it's always going to be this room it's not going to change to a different area this in particular is a bit of a tricky room because sometimes you'll have it be in the dining uh like the these rooms are a little bit like are very connected if i like look there i might even see orbs there i don't see orbs all right so no orbs so let's say i think that this is definitely the ghost room i can go in here oh the the breaker is on by default i didn't even yeah i didn't even think about that the breaker is on by default that's another really nice thing i'm gonna turn off or i'm gonna say that it's probably not ghost orbs uh, and then we're gonna i don't know why this ghost is not doing anything i feel like it's probably something like a shade this is kind of crazy because that's the thing that i was hoping to see here when you're playing on amateur there's something interesting between amateur and insanity that happens with the ghost. When you're playing on insanity, the interactivity of the ghost is set to low. That means that the ghost is gonna do way less interactions. However, on amateur, the interactivity is set to high, which is really weird that we're not getting any activity right now. So we're probably gonna have to pull some tarot guards maybe, but let's use, where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you pizza? Let's just grab the tarot cards and go a little crazy. I think I saw an orb. I didn't see him, uh, but we're gonna check again later. Yeah, my sanity. Oh, doing a ghost event because of the devil card. My sanity, that's the thing. Your sanity starts uh, at 100, obviously, on every single difficulty except insanity. There it starts at 75, but the rate at which your sanity drops will be different for each difficulty. For professional, nightmare, and insanity, it's at max drain. But I think for amateur and intermediate, it's slightly lower than the maximum drain. Uh, we just got a ghost uh, or ghost air ball, so it's not an Oni. Let's pull another card. Ah, oh, fuck me. Ah, oh, fuck me. <laughs> Dude, I mean, it's so imagine some amateur player. <laughs> getting this fucking tarot card deck dude you would never in your life touch the tarot cards ever again you'd be like what the fuck are these things dude these are some bullshit <laughs> luckily i know that i'm just getting unlucky here but poor poor new player dealing with this garbage so obviously it's not a do because it's not roaming to my location is this going to be one of those hilarious videos where we're going to play on amateur intermediate professional etc and then amateur is actually going to be the hardest difficulty and insanity is going to be the easiest i could see that happening happen you can still see that even with cursed hunts here because we got we used the tarot cards it is still hunting extremely short 
All right, well, you're a piece of garbage. You know that. Is it still down here? It is still really low here. And you can see that as soon as I step out, the temperature goes up drastically. So yeah, this should still be the ghost room. But oh boy, is it being a little baby right now. We should check for fingerprints that it probably did during the hunt. Um, tarot cards are so nasty on this, by the way. Where did I drop my tarot cards? I'm just gonna do it again. Sure, here we go. Uh, we can check for phantom gin. Let's just go a little crazy with it. All right, ghost. Power cards are basically completely bugged. They never give me any activity, but we get writing. All right, thank you for actually doing something. I really appreciate it. Okay, shade is an option, which would also mean EMF5. Uh, so let's pull some more. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Actually fucked. Is it a poltergeist? It's not a poltergeist, right? It's not throwing enough. Let's see if it gets any faster. Definitely getting faster. Okay. This is not what an amateur player would do. I'm sorry. I can't help myself. I can't help myself from making the game go crazy. Am I gonna die on amateur? Wait, why is the ghost still hunting? Wait, why is it still hunting? Oh my god! What the fuck? That was so much longer than I expected. <laughs> I almost fucking died on amateur, dude. <laughs> All right, anyway. <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. Uh, this doesn't mean it's a demon because I had a, I was using the tarot card, so that forced the hunt. I, I don't think it's a, mo well, actually, it could be a Moroi because my sanity is still going to be really high. I need to grab as much stick. This is ridiculous. Is this an amateur shade moment right here? So the thing with shades is that they can't do anything if you're in the room with them. Like nothing at all. Wait, that looks like EMF 5 right there. If that wasn't, that wasn't a ghost event. It's probably EMF 5. Um, let's take a, what is our sanity? It's 80%. All right, let's just take this. So we have some smudge sticks, can protect ourselves. That's basically all we're interested in. Three death cards in like six cards total is pretty damn unlucky. Dies on a shade, dies to a shade on amateur mode. Because this is amateur mode and we should be getting high activity, I can with almost 100% certainty say that this basically has to be a shade. I don't know if the, this would be interesting. That's the temperature. Oh, this is actually a, a thing that makes amateur mode harder than some of the higher difficulties. You know what's going on here? Because the breaker starts on, on amateur mode, the game is way harder. Why? Because when the t breaker starts on, all rooms will start at 15 degrees because that's what the temperature goes towards when the breaker is on. Which, uh, and if the breaker, if the breaker starts off at the beginning of a quest, all rooms will be starting at around five degrees because that's what the temperature will be if the breaker is off. So if you start the game with the breaker off and then turn on the breaker, all the rooms that aren't the ghost room will go up from there, go up to 15 very slowly, and the ghost room will continue going down. So if you have a freezing room, it's gonna sh start at five and then show you really quickly that it's freezing by going below five. But if you're playing on amateur, it starts at 15 and it first needs to go all the way down from 15 all the way to zero, which can take, as you can see here, up to like, I don't even know how long this game is, like 10 minutes. So that's one of those things that you, that can actually make the game way more tricky. The fact that the temperature starts so high because the temperature now goes down way slower than it used to. So that's actually very interesting. And the tier, um, this, this does not matter what the tier three would also be equally slow here because it all depends on the ghost lowering the temperature of the room rather than like the, the speed of the thermo here. Um, all right, anyway, let's pull some cards. What's the worst that could happen? I would really, I would really love a moon card right now. That's also good. I love how all these tower cards do absolutely nothing. Hanged man. This locks the ghost in the room, doesn't mean anything. Oh. Ah! Fuck me, dude. Holy shit, what is this garbage? <laughs> Actually, so fucked up. I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna try and take the ghost photo. Can I get this? Okay. Please come out. It's not a miling, right? I love how we're getting no evidence. 
Did I? Oh, I didn't get it. What? How did I miss that? I was right in the middle of two blinks. <laughs> Fuck you. Okay. Um, we're not getting EMF five here. Very little activity. I think I have to lead with leave with shade. What an insane showcase of how amateur can be hard as fuck man if you get the right ghost on amateur the game can be so hard i got one evidence on amateur obviously i could wait for freezing this is also a very unlucky room by the way cj has explained this the way that this room works is that because the ghosts roam around randomly it is really easy for it to step into the this room for example and lower this room's temperature so yeah in the kitchen it goes down even slower and then emf5 obviously slow shows up extremely rarely because the shade never does anything but i'm just gonna go off of unless i misunderstand amateur i'm gonna go off of the fact that amateur usually has a really high interaction rate and nothing really happening here means that we're probably dealing with a shade but i'm gonna get the hell out of here that was an insane round unless if this is not a shade i will become the joker this is i i love how every time i try to do something simple it becomes hard as hell was that a shade? That was indeed a shade. All right, perfect showcase of shade in its purest form. So another thing, obviously, that you need to keep in mind with the amateur mode is that you only get a one-time reward. However, what I didn't do here, what I should have done, the photos give you as much of a reward on amateur mode as they do on insanity mode, which, by the way, I could do a version of this where I get a perfect game on every uh, difficulty if you want to see that. Uh, let me know. That was a 14 minute round. It did 96 interactions. Nice joke. You know what this means? This means during a hunt, it touches stuff during a hunt, which all counts as interactions. I really wish that they would remove that from the counter here because obviously this ghost did not do 94 things, but that's because it did a ghost or it did a, a hunt and one ghost event after we pull the cart. And you can see time out of the ghost room eight, which is very very weird because let me actually show you the exact settings of amateur If you go over here into presets, you can load in amateur and then you can see the exact settings of amateur So the sanity pill gives you 40 sanity drain is a hundred compared to 200 on most other difficulties sprinting obviously etc etc um, the it's interesting that insurance is not a difficulty setting. Look at that grace period, five seconds. But what you saw right there is that the grace period was not five seconds at all. The, the cursed possessions are way more dangerous on the lower difficulties than on the higher difficulties because when you use a cursed possession and it triggers a hunt, from that point onwards, it every single grace or the grace period will be set to one second, no matter what it was. So if you're playing an amateur, suddenly instead of having five second grace period, you have a one second grace period. So yeah, using that cursed possession really risky when you're playing on amateur. So I honestly would say that amateur mode is harder for me than professional by far. So <laughs> like I don't I don't know what to make of that. But yeah, that is that. You can see right here in the ghost. Uh, look at the interaction amount high, event frequency low. See, high interaction amount. If you load insanity, it's low instead. It's low interaction amount, so that's interesting. But anyway, let's hop into the next difficulty, which is going to be intermediate. The standard ghost hunting experience. See, so the devs have said this is the standard. This is the standard they're going towards. Average setup time, so it's less than five minutes this time. Average hunt grace period, so a little less than five seconds. Average hunt duration little less than 20 seconds um sanity pills restore some sanity i think it's 30 or 35 i think it's 35 if i if i remember uh fuse box starts off here which here it starts on so this is actually going to make it easier because we're going to be able to detect temperature way quicker fewer places to hide so a few are going to be blocked already on this so the standard ghost hunting experience already includes the 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 some of them being blocked regain some of your lost equipment value if you die i think it's 25 percent, and you get twice the rewards all right well let's go to uh let's go to edgefield for that one we're going to stick to the, the the houses here just so we can compare them properly but i don't want to just go to tanglewood over and over and over again because that would get boring uh we got michael hall yeah you can see the setup time here it's actually two minutes so instead of five minutes it's now two minutes which is Honestly, completely useless having a setup t setup time. Um, I mean, if you're gonna be an idiot like me and use the cursed possession, it's completely useless. But uh, even like two minutes, what can you really do in two minutes? Like you can throw, a f you can't even really find the ghost room in two minutes. So yeah, it's kind of pointless. So in this case, because the breaker doesn't start off, 
You have to change your strategy. Instead of immediate... We got tarot cards again. Are you fucking joking? Wait, now I actually want to see. Please don't give me a death card. Oh my god! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. This is stupid. <laughs> this is so stupid. I hate it here. Okay, run away. Ah! What the fuck? Oh my god. Okay, this hiding spot is available. Uh, don't play like me ever, please. <laughs> I, that was a moon card. If you don't know, the moon card drops your sanity to zero. But that also shows you that... Because before... The way the setup time worked is that you couldn't drop below 50% sanity during your setup time. But right now, if you ever touch, not if you touch them, if you touch the cursed possession, that's fine. But if you uh, use them, it will always drain, or it will always set your setup time to zero. So don't do that if you want to use the setup time. And also don't be a complete moron like me and like uh use the cards like this several times in a row so yeah my sanity is now set to zero i it sounded like a miling there but i'm just gonna ignore that that was the case and we're gonna take pills let's see so one pill is we're not gonna see it immediately because it regenerates slowly over time but i think it's 35 then we're gonna take another one which should push us to 70 which is more than enough i'm not gonna take too many pills because um i don't want i still want to get hunted later probably and I don't want to be at too high of a sanity. So that's going to be like taking a while. That's the downside of an amateur. If you have a bad curse possession like tarot cards. I know the tarot cards are really fun. But they are like arguably the worst curse possession. You might have to wait a really, 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 really long time. Before you actually get hunted. Which sometimes is really useful. For figuring out uh, what ghost it is. Anyway, let's do what we were supposed to do. Which is turn on the breaker. When you start a game on intermediate or higher do not like you you want to first get your bearings a little bit you can you want to obviously find the ghost room uh you want to turn on the breaker because the breaker is extremely important because the san new sanity system has is super powerful lights used to already be important but now they're even more important because if you turn on a light in this room the entire room is now completely safe i can do that upstairs as well if i turn on these lights the room is completely safe, which is extremely useful for keeping my sanity very high. Uh, it touched a door over there. Let's see, it touched both of these. You can see these hiding spots. So we have almost all hiding spots, but there are a few blocked hiding spots. So you can go look around, see which hiding spots are available to you. Because the last thing you want is almost all of them, as you can see. But the last thing you want is running to a hiding spot and then realizing, oh no, this hiding spot is blocked and then dying. Uh, you gotta you gotta be careful you want to see for example if i ran into this room uh wanting to hide here and then suddenly i see that the hiding spot is blocked i'm gonna get killed um so yeah keep that in mind did it just turn off the breaker very annoying turning off it's in wait what it touched that is this the twins the fuck was that i'm gonna turn back on the breaker because i want the lights on because once again the sanity system is really op really strong if you properly managed it and we're already at 70 anyway <clears throat> i was um i'm not touching the tarot cards for a little bit huh all right where are you so beginning interactions in a large area let's see it seems to be cold in here you can walk around so now you can see it's actually colder in here. Ah! all right let's get the fuck out of me you can see that this room was five degrees even though oh my god you fucking dickhead you're eating my sanity like crazy you dickhead it's not an oni at least my sanity is gonna be completely fucked i'm gonna take a pill a amateur and intermediate ghosts man they're they're absolutely they're absolutely insane you think you're just chilling on a lower because that's a, a huge misunderstanding people think that lower difficulties the ghosts are like less aggressive and stuff Technically, I guess the settings for ghost events is lower. So yeah, they can feel less aggressive, but that's not a thing. All the ghosts act exactly the same way on every difficulty. It's just like certain things such as grace period or um, the activity, the amount, amount of interactions, the amount of ghost events. Like those are tied to the custom difficulty, but they can still be vastly modified. They can be, still be hugely modified. That looks like a potential EMF5 right there. They can still be that one too but that's probably the ghost event that one isn't uh these can they can also be uh modified by the ghost like the ghost could just be really really active really really crazy 
um, you gotta you gotta be careful. But as I was saying uh, a moment ago, this room is like five degrees because the breaker started off. It's now slowly rising. This room, however, is uh, already like around zero because it started at five and then the ghost made it go lower and lower and lower. So yeah, I really like the breaker starting on is really powerful for preserving your sanity, but it starting off helps you so much when it comes to uh, finding freezing fast, which can be really nice. Anyway, let's look for some evidence. What do we actually got here in this madness? And so the ghosts are all, they all hunt at the exact same sanity for every single difficulty. There's no difference like that. You are a son of a... You goddamn bitch. It's not orbs, it looks like. Once again, a ghost. Okay, my sanity is not that bad. Um, take these in there and place a crucifix. This, what the hell is going on? <laughs> anyway, intermediate at its finest. Intermediate amateur are actually the hardest difficulties in the game, it turns out. Who would have thought? Let's see, do we have any? <clears throat> we don't have that. Where are you? Are you here? We got that. I think it's the twins based on the based on the activity we had before which means it would be freezing which means it would go below one or below the the notch it's currently at is it gonna do that come on i'm just gonna take some salt while i wait for that because it can take a little while just the fact that it touched that it touched the door all the way over in that room right when it was in that room, that is extreme. That is either like wraith or or twin type behavior. So let's just take salt so we can rule out uh, wraith. And otherwise it's um, otherwise it's the the twins probably. I would almost surely say it's not the spirit. Let's see. Okay, this is gonna be a wraith. Oh, never mind. It is indeed the twins. Let's put that there. Um, I mean, unless it's the most insane spirit of all time, which is possible. Doesn't spirit... No, spirit is not UV. Got not ghost ship, so ghost riding, freezing, dots. Uh, it's not going lower, but the ghost also walked out. You can take like four photos off of this. What? Oh, it's because half of it is covered by the thing. You piece of garbage. I'm being trolled. As I said earlier, the... Um, the... Wait, well, yeah, dirty water. The photos are more valuable on the lower difficulties because they don't get multiplied by the difficulty. So if you can just like... If you like taking photos, like you get a, a, a relatively higher reward when playing on a lower difficulty. Like obviously you get the same reward, but it's just compared to... Um, Oh my god, hello. Ghost event. <sighs> Look at... Next Reddit post <laughs> found. <laughs> oh man, dude, I hate the photo system. The photo system is so fucked up right now. Look at this photo. Two star disturbed salt right in the middle of the damn screen. Three star ghost riding photo right in the middle of the dang screen. Like, wait, but it's ghost riding. Never mind. It is a spirit. Are you kidding me? Wait, I just, it, it took a while to sink in. What the fuck? How is this a, how did it touch this door over here? What is happening? <laughs> what the hell was that? So yeah, ghosts. This is my experience. Whenever I play amateur or intermediate, the ghosts are crazier. So if you are like, uh, taking refuge in intermediate or amateur mode because you think, oh, the ghosts are going to be less scary. No, that is not the case at all. The ghosts are not less scary in any way on the lower difficulties. You, you're you basically, honestly, in my opinion, if you can play an intermediate, just play on professional. Professional is like equally spooky and you just get way higher rewards. And amateur, like amateur gives you one time reward. It feels so bad. Uh, compared to those higher difficulties. All right, well, that's a spirit. I'm gonna get the hell out of here because this ghost is ridiculous. <laughs> what does the salt... The salt helped me rule out uh, rule out the wraith there because the wraith cannot step in the salt. 
I mean, assuming that was the EMF-5, by the way. I didn't actually see the EMF-5, so this... Yeah, it wasn't. It was a spirit, though. So with that, we get a fi 500. And that is basically... Oh, that's also a daily objective. Uh, but that's basically purely off of just getting the ghost, right? Because we didn't do anything else. So you can already see that the rewards are getting way higher. Uh, it would be like if I actually did all the objectives every time, that would be a better comparison. Um, we could do an extra round, though. Let's, uh, so let's actually look in the exact settings of intermediate now we're gonna load over here load the preset of intermediate you can see 35 percent sanity restoration sanity during speed instead of uh instead of 100 is 150 uh sprinting everything else is the same obviously ghost speed roaming frequency medium so they're roaming slightly more but they're still never changing ghost room which i think for professional yeah professional is the first time when ghosts actually can change the ghost room which is i think that it's so where I said that intermediate and professional are basically the same. I think this is the main difference between them. The fact that the ghosts will actually roam on professional can be fairly, very difficult. Because if you have only ever played on intermediate, you've never experienced that. And it's a big part of playing on higher difficulties is dealing with ghost roaming. And it's something I really enjoy because it makes me feel like I'm actually doing an investigation. But uh, you can also have a ghost that roams way too much. And at that point, it can get insanely annoying. But yeah, no roaming yet on intermediate. Interaction amount is now medium instead of high. And event frequency is also medium instead of low. Friendly Ghost, obviously, off grace period, down one second compared to amateur. Hunt duration is medium now instead of uh, instead of low. The You can also tweak this, by the way. Like, if you want to do it slightly different, you can tweak the settings. Setup time, 120. Don't get the, the need of this. You could literally just turn this off. I mean, I guess it doesn't give you really anything. <laughs> Why does that... It basically gives you nothing. What the fuck? And then door starting open, which is kind of an interesting one. Uh, that... The doors on Amateur start all closed. Oh, interesting. The doors all start closed on Intermediate. Some of them start open, which can... Like, if the ghost opens a door, that can give it away. But if there's other doors also open, that will make it harder to spot. You have hiding spots. It's still high. So, it's it's not very high, but it's still high. Sanity monitor. Obviously, everything is off. One curse possession. Okay. And then, let's immediately compare to Professional. Because there's a few important changes, as I said. The um, Sanity pill is down by 5% additionally thing everything here is the same uh, and you can see the drain is at max now so the drain is now at max so this is like what i'm used to the 200 percent drain everything anything below that feels really really slow to me but that's just because i'm used to that uh roaming frequency is high now so the ghosts are going to be walking around in a larger area way more and they can also sometimes rarely change ghost room which is also based on how high your sanity is so if you're really low sanity they can be roaming more uh, interaction amount is now low, which is going to be the same way for Nightmare and for Insanity, which is just what I'm used to. But yeah, if you like that the ghost does more, you can just go in here, change that to high. You get a slightly lower reward than professional, but you get more than uh, uh, doing professional like vanilla, but you, you get more activity, which can be fun. Um, ghost events is medium. Grace period, three seconds. Evidence, obviously, still three. That's going to change next time. Uh, still got a cursed possession, which is really important. Weather is always random, medium. Number of hiding places is now also medium. Um, and that's basically it. And we can see here, what do they find important to highlight in the setting itself? Professional. For experienced ghost hunters. So this is in their eyes already for like uh, like above average players. The ghost room can rarely change as we saw. No setup time, which is not really important in my opinion. Never used that. Short grace period, which was still three seconds. I don't find that short at all. That's really long. Long hunt duration. Uh, sanity pill restore little sanity 30, which is still a lot. How I said little compared to 40 is, is a lot. That's but yeah, it says sanity pills restore a lot of sanity. That's 40. They restore little sanity is 30. That feels a little weird. That's like a, a small difference, but okay. Fuse box starts off on much fewer hiding spaces. So yeah, let's hop in. This is honestly, if I were to, like, I have played in my, like, overall Phasmo career by far the most on Professional because, as I said at the very beginning of this video, when the game first came out, right. Professional was the highest difficulty. There was nothing above it. Nightmare mode was added, like, more than a year after, maybe even, like, almost two years after. Well, like one and a half year, I think, something like that. And the... So no no timer this time. We just have that. We still have the screens, though. And the insanity mode was added even later than that. So yeah, it was a year. Oh, it was only a year. It felt like it was way longer. 
I, I still think back fondly to the times where we were just it's tarot cards again. Are you fucking? Is this this is it's, it gives me a random cursed possession. How are we getting the tarot cards every single round, man? What the fuck? This is ridiculous. Uh, so once again, because we start with the breaker off, start your game by looking for the breaker, maybe finding the bone if you get lucky along the way. Do this EMF three being in or the tier three being an absolute legend? Did it touch this door? Looks like it. Looks like it, but kind of surprising. Because I didn't hear anything, but sure. We're going to be in this area. A little bit strange. The game wants me to get a hanged man. Three tarot card decks. Like, he's going to die one day. Let's see, is it here? It's going up. In here. It's going up. In here. Going up? Why is it going up still? Oh, no, no, no. So what I said was, I think, incorrect. I, so it doesn't always start at five degrees. It starts at the weather temperature. So if the weather... I usually play on, on, on like, really cold weather. So that's why it's usually the case. But if the breaker starts off, the house will be the same temperature as outside. That's what it means. So if you're playing with snow weather, then inside it's going to be extremely cold. If you're playing with heavy rain, it's going to be extremely cold inside. But in this case, it's sunrise weather, which it's as you can see, it's like 16 degrees outside, which means that inside it's also going to be 16 degrees. So yeah, it's going to be the temperature is going to go down really, really slowly here. So it'll take a while before we're actually going to see that. I think it's in this hallway. You can see it going down. We're just going to grab our stuff uh, and put it in there. That's fine. I think the low, like if there's one setting I usually change, like if I, if I'm setting up a custom difficulty and I do it for fun, mostly, I will usually turn, turn off, uh, the changing of ghost room. I think the changing of ghost room is fun for investigating, but can also be extremely annoying. And that's because there's such a huge, like variance in the amount of roaming you get from ghosts. Sometimes you have a ghost that literally changes favorite room 10 times in a 20 minute game, which is just extremely frustrating. Other times you'll be playing with high ghost room changing and you'll get like one or even zero favorite room changes. So it's really, really up to the ghost. You can see the ghost or the orbs right there. Uh, oh, what the hell? This doesn't mean anything with mare, by the way, as I see people say not a mare. Uh, if it, that used to be the case of a turn on the keyboard, it's not a mare. That's not the case. Also, that's dots right there. Hello. Mm. We got, um, dots and ghost herbs right away. Banshee, you're a, uh, yokai right you say. Spicy ghosts here. Right you say. Again, the abilities are not changed at all on the different difficulties. The, um, the they will still be hunting super early i mean not as early because your sanity starts higher the demon will still be able to hunt right at the beginning of the game the mimic is still going to be annoying right is still going to be scary like all the ghosts re retain their like regular ghost abilities though so don't those don't get changed at all i don't think people actually think that but i just thought i'd share it um in case you didn't know that or, or in case this is literally like you're you're like watching this video uh, seeing professional for the first time or something. It's not It's not as scary as it sounds. You read the text and it's like, oh, professional is meant for experienced ghost hunters. You don't have to worry too much. Um, I, in my opinion, professional is the, they, they say in the difficulties that in intermediate is the, the, like the standard ghost hunting experience. I would say professional is the standard ghost hunting experience. Like having at least a little bit of roaming feels like it should be part. Oh, wow. The temperature went down so quickly. You can just see how annoying the kitchen is in Tanglewood. The temperature in the kitchen goes down so extremely slowly because it's outside of the ghost room the whole time. Um, can you give me a sign? What are we looking for? Maybe spirit box. Let's try that. It also feels like you just get evidence way faster on professional. Maybe I'm biased. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you pizza? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you pizza? Are you grandma? 
That's none of that. Oh, we have dots again, but that doesn't really matter. So the fact that it was right there. Oh, well, okay, it's right. It's a Thay. Look at that. What I was saying. Thay is still going to be a scary ghost. However, because you obviously still started 100% sanity, it's not like. Um, it's not like the uh, insanity difficulty where a Thay can literally hunt as soon as you step into the map. Like, insanity is the only difficulty that starts with lower sanity, which can mean. Um, which can lead to some really nasty consequences. Can you do the dots? Thank you. I just wanted the ghost order. All right, I'm going to get the hell out of here now. Uh, anything? Cleanse the area with a... All right. We should pull some cards, right? I should push, pull some cards just to see if the cards are as insane on professional as they, are, as they were on amateur. I think the amateur deck is definitely going to be the craziest. We had... Four death cards in a deck of ten. That's ridiculous. We're gonna take this. We're gonna take the smudge stick. I think I did pick up the bone. Nightmare incoming. Nightmare! I remember when Nightmare was first added, I was like, fuck this. This is, like, so annoying. But a year down the line, I was like, all right, well, never mind. This is actually totally normal now. And then they added insanity, and then I was like, fuck insanity, which I still kind of... Like, insanity is obviously not something that I can sustainably play for really long time, like stretches of time. I get tired as hell of insanity mode, because basically every round is so RNG dependent, and it turns into like this, um, like basically no evidence run every time. Let's pull some cards. Okay, well, it seems like... You're fast, of course. Seems like no matter the difficulty, the cards are gonna be fucking annoying as hell. I'm gonna run. Death only playthrough over here. Oh, he's plants the ghost at least. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> was that our first card as well? God damn it! The ghost broke his. Uh, oh, you can hear how much faster they are. How much faster the. The Thay is even is it's definitely slower than it was uh, Than it would have been if it hunted straight away if I would have pulled that card straight away We would have immediately gone blasted once again something that I have talked about at length in the past when you're using the cursed possession You're risking something fairly heavy which is cursed hunts cursed hunts overwrite a lot of the custom difficulty settings it overwrites the grace period because the grace period will just be t one uh one second from that point onwards and it also overwrites or not overwrites but it adds an additional 20 seconds to the length of the hunt so if you're like playing on amateur with like 20 second hunts suddenly the hunts are twice as long so keep that in mind all right i'm gonna pull one more card of course sun card now wait you know what? I just don't want a death card, so I'm, I'm gonna... If I get a hanged man, so be it. Ah! <laughs> Fuck this game, dude. <laughs> I hate the tarot cards sometimes. <laughs> well, the tarot cards are, like, stealing the show over here. <laughs> I jinxed it so hard. All right, well... Obviously, they, we're not going to see the payout of a regular uh, professional round. But a regular professional round, like three times, it's still so low. I have made a video recently about a better version of professional that changes a few of the difficulty settings to make the reward almost twice as high, but still keep it as like almost as easy as regular professional mode, which I can highly recommend if you're an avid professional player, but you would like to get more rewards to check out that because in that difficulty, I still have three evidences, but I get five times rewards, which is higher than nightmare mode. So yeah, I highly recommend that video if you want to check that out on the channel. But anyway, that was professional. Let's move on to nightmare. A challenge for the best of the best. Ghost will hide one type of evidence extremely extremely big change compared to professional mode uh, because suddenly you can't rely on the evidence items to find the ghost room now you have to know ghost abilities and rule them out with that which is it's like for a new player this is like an a complete no-go zone do not do this because you think you can read the journal the journal only contains like 20% of the information about all the ghosts are so much that's not in the journal or that's unclear in the journal. So yeah, you really need to just like 
either like watch guides or something to slowly learn i've made tons of guides obviously uh no setup time short hunt grace period probably two seconds long hunt duration definitely uh kills increase hunt duration also a big change for a lot of people on uh between nightmare and professional is that you can get wiped in one hunt one hunt can kill your entire team if someone is has their flashlight turned on and they're in a hiding spot with a few other people they can get everyone killed which is a big change sanity pills restore much less sanity 25 percent. it's really not much less but yeah 25 percent fuse box starts off almost no hiding spots that's definitely true you're gonna now so with professional and um let's go to willow with perfect well Willow has not many hiding spots anyway, but whatever. Uh, with professional and intermediate and amateur, you should still, well, with professional and intermediate, you should still check if the hiding spot you want to hide in is available. But uh, with in Nightmare, you really should do that because most hiding spots are going to be blocked. And I don't think it even said that in the uh, description of the difficulty. The screens are broken. The screens are broken for Nightmare difficulty, which means you cannot see... If the ghost is hunting, you cannot see if there's like EMF5 or something or if the ghost is doing things. That's all completely hidden from you, which is my least favorite change between Nightmare and a higher difficult or Nightmare and Professional. But luckily, you can like tweak it with the custom difficulty. You can change any difficulty to your liking for a little bit less reward or more reward if you want to um, like make it hard. Are you kidding me? What are the chances? Wait, this is actually like astronomically low odds. Five runs in a row? Wait, no. Amateur, intermediate, professional, nightmare. Five runs in a row, there's seven cursed possessions. This is actually like, like this is some freaking lottery shit here. One divided by, oh, it's a wraith. Are you fucking kidding me? It's 14% for East cursed possession. One divided by seven to the power of the power of six well i guess seven or four in this case the chance of having tarot cards four times in a row is 0 0.004 really 0 0.04 that's like less than less than 0.1 percent that is actually insane there must be something wrong with the statistics here or this is like i need to buy a lottery right now a lottery ticket right now <laughs> that's insane what the fuck all right, well, anyway, we're going to have the tarot cards, I guess, once again. Hopefully not die. Let's take that. I'm not putting it on the tripod because I don't like the tripod. Because you don't really need it to see orbs. Holy shit. We have orbs. So then you can just throw it on the ground and be done with it. You don't need to place it on a tripod, etc. Um, where are you? Are you here? So uh, this is one of our two pieces of evidence, but you do have to keep in mind is that the mimic is going to show three evidences as only ghosts. Let's just uh, turn on the breaker. Um, obviously, this is here. I'm going to leave that here because our sanity is going to be going down quite quickly. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Holy. There's not only five cursed objects. No, there used to be six and now there's seven with the addition of the monkey paw. So the the chance of getting seven or the the same curse position four times in a row is extremely rare this is very stupid hopefully not a hanged man card again and turn on it's also no it hasn't thrown that we're gonna turn on lights check Alrighty, buddy are you doing stuff over here i already tried spare box i'm just gonna bring in the other stuff so yeah nightmare mode is hugely different nightmare mode is literally like, I think that this is the cutoff point for where it's the it's the no-go zone for new players. And I don't, and I say that with all due respect. I say that as someone, like, literally wants the best for you. I'm like your mom. I, I, I want the best for you. I'm just making you do your homework because I know you're going to thank me for doing your homework later. It's similar to that. You need to do your homework of ghosts first before you are allowed to play Nightmare Mode or higher. I've seen so many people in custom or in public lobbies that are like level 10 or something and have absolutely no idea what the fuck they are doing but one of their group mates is level 10 or is like high enough level to have nightmare mode and drags everyone into nightmare mode and it's just a complete horrendous disaster and no one ever gets the ghost correct um yeah i would just highly re recommend at least for the first like i don't know for the first entire prestige probably just play pro pro professional mode in my opinion because it just teaches you the game in the best way you still have to deal with roaming 
uh, and the harder parts of playing the game, but you at least get like uh, all the evidence because that's gonna like it's hard. It's gonna be hard to actually use the ghost ability to rule out ghosts until you get really, really familiar with them. Are you actually here? Seems like it because this temperature was oh, it's mega freezing. So yeah, def wait, that means it's probably a mimic here or it's one of these guys, which is interesting. Um, I guess we're just gonna do tarot cards. <laughs> Did I just hear the Tanglewood scream? What the fuck? It can't be because I haven't heard that in, in ages. I swear I just heard that. Let's just do this. It didn't do anything. Oh boy. All sun card deck. Don't kill me, please. What the fuck? Okay, here we go. Normal speed. Why do I have a... Hello? Not a revenant. It's not a haunter. Can you touch these doors? Touch the doors. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey, Grandma. Wait. Follow me. Touch this door. Touch it, please. Yes, let's go. I can barely see this ghost. No, I can't just see it. All right, please stop hunting so I can check for... Oh, fuck. I shouldn't have dropped my UV light there. Let's see if there's fingerprints on this. There! <laughs> I love how... Dude, this is so fucking ridiculous. Like, the... All these runs have been, like, upside down. I love how amateur was insanely difficult because of the bullshit shade. And then we're literally, we literally get the one ghost that is easier on, ni on nightmare mode compared to professional. Well, like, because so the way it works for, for Mimic is it will always show orbs because that's just a special ability. Even if you're playing with zero evidence, it will still show orbs. But because like regular nightmare mode, it will also show two other evidence. So in this case, it's showing UV, freezing and ghost orbs, which means uh, the ghost orbs is the ability for the mimic. We get three evidence, which is impossible because we're playing nightmare mode. We should only be getting two evidence. So yeah, there you go. Absolutely ridiculous. We got to pull the rest of the tarot cards, but I'm not going to stay in the house while doing so. Uh, where did I drop them? I dropped them over here, probably. Uh, because I don't want to... I mean, I might get killed here anyway. If, if I get a moon card, I might die. Let's see if we get a hanged man. How many hanged mans can we farm? I don't want to get the death card again, so I'm just stepping outside while pulling them. Because if you get a death card while you're outside of the house, it's not going to work. Get a fake sun card. Okay. That would have been another one. No, thank you, though. <laughs> and we didn't die this time. All right. Well, I'm going to leave here. <laughs> Good God. Holy. Okay. Get out of here. Mimic. Uh, amazing that we, we got that to happen. We didn't get the repel, the incense. Well. Actually, you know what? We could do this real quick for, like, massive reward. Just throw in. Um, throw in a, a smudge stick in the room. And just be like, fuck you. Go die. I need to see if it's gonna actually work. Boom. There you go. Cleanse the ghost. Goodbye. You can reopen the truck. That's one of those things that every time I do it, there will be at least a few people that are like, what the hell? You can do that? <laughs> There's literally, I've done that like once every day for years now. And every, every single time without, <laughs> without exception, there's always someone. All right, look at that. So the rewards are now getting extremely juicy. This is a very poorly done contract. Two objectives missing, no bone, no photos, and still over a thousand now, which is just such a change compared to how it used to be. There, obviously, we didn't have to use any of the abilities. Well, we, I guess we did. Wonder of you, thank you for the gift subs. I guess we did because it was a nightmare. Um because it was a it was a mimic and we we used the extra ghost orb but yeah that was a little silly let's go back to tanglewood now to really truly compare insanity 
and amateur. See which one is harder. So yeah, let's look. This is a huge list of changes. Ghost will hide two types of evidence. Absolutely massive. Because this means that you still have to collect that one evidence if you want to. But it's just like a huge... Like you have... You, you, you'll bring in all the evidence items, look for a bunch of evidence, and then maybe get dots like 10 minutes later. It's going to take so much time to get one evidence, which isn't even going to help you that much. No curse possession, which is actually a huge deal for... The play style of most like higher level players they play with the curse possession a lot uh, which means that we are not gonna get tarot cards this time go fuck yourself no more curse possession <laughs> the ghost room will change more often definitely uh no setup time unless starting sanity 75 percent starting sanity short hunt grace period and fingerprint duration i didn't even honestly i didn't even know this i didn't even know the fingerprint duration was less i just learned something uh long hunt duration and kills increase duration that one is actually real tricky not only can the ghost chain kill but it can also if it if someone dies the hunt will be going for even longer sanity pills restore even less sanity only 20 now i think Fuse box starts off almost no hiding places. Let's actually inspect this within the custom difficulty right here. Uh, because I would... It's, so it's uh, 70 here. Look, changing favorite room high... Or roaming high and change favorite room also high. Interaction low. Event frequency high. Uh, grace period is still two seconds though. Look at that. Evidence given one. And uh, fingerprints chance is still 100. But the duration is only a minute. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Only a minute. Fingerprints. I just learned something. And then obviously number of hiding places is low. Activity monitors are still going to be broken. Fuse box is broken. No curse possession. So yeah. Um, this is like the hardest regular difficulty. Let's see how that's going to go. No tarot cards this time. National alert. What the hell? The, is, a, is a national alert literally in every single state? What happened? You guys okay over there? alert on all phones to test the alert system are you kidding they just they alerted every single phone in the entire country millions of phones just to test the system i mean i guess it makes sense you have to test it every now and then but what the hell man you had a heart attack this is a nuclear alert goodbye us it was fun knowing you no more hamburgers no, not the hamburgers. It was a ghost event. <laughs> American ghost event. So yeah, we started at 75% sanity, which means that it is even more important now to use the sanity system to your advantage. Turn on the lights, keep the lights turned on, because as long as you stay in the lights, you that doesn't matter. Starting at 75% sanity doesn't matter much. It only matters if you're dealing with either a demon, a yokai, or a Thay, because a Thay can hunt at 75% sanity. But any other ghost will not be able to hunt that early, so it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, can you give me a sign, ghost? Turning on lights. It's, it's a shitty start again. I'm actually gonna just leave it. I should, I should have it go to the normal temperature. I'm hearing nothing. You can really feel that no activity. I mean, I guess we have the same thing when we were playing on amateur mode, because that's... A that's the unfortunate part of playing on profession or on insanity is that if you have a ghost that just doesn't do anything go fuck yourself i guess because you can't um you can't force it to do something with the cursed possession you can't go like all right fuck it i'll grab the mirror uh and just see where the ghost room is no you have to wait for that but all right here it finally did something we're gonna leave this here grab the uv real quick because once again we only get one single freaking evidence which is, and you still have to work equally as hard for it, which is like, honestly, almost not worth it. I'm going to grab this. Uh, I don't want this yet. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, it's fine. Have this first. Just got off work. Welcome. Hey, Ginger, what's up? It's EMF5 for the US. <laughs> All right. Is it because it's only 60 seconds, right? That's so interesting. How did I not remember that? I probably knew it at some point. But yeah, I don't remember that at all, that the fingerprint duration is shorter. On insanity. Not seeing any orbs. The, the mimic is even easier on insanity because you'll see the orbs right away. And then if you get the second evidence... That even five? I don't like it for a sec. <clears throat> Through this in here. And let's see if it's colder in this room. It's also blinking lights all over the place. 15 degrees in here. Slightly lower here. Let's go. Okay. 
Where are you? Are you here? <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is insane. Why is amateur harder than, than insanity mode? What the fuck? All right, well, huh? That's a good, oh no, it's a ghost event. That right there was the Diogen hidden ability on the spirit box, which by the way, also, that's something really important to keep in mind with certain ghosts, is that when you're playing on either Nightmare or Insanity, there are certain evidences that are fixed. Um, for example, let me just go through all of them. The Dio and the Moroi will always have spirit box because the Moroi has uh, an ability where it will like curse you if you use the spirit box. So you will still have spirit box. Even if you're playing on insanity, the only evidence will be spirit box. For Dio, the same, which doesn't really make much sense. The only reason for Dio it has spirit box is because of that hidden ability right there. Um, the devs were just really nice on that one for some reason. Hantu will always have freezing because its ability is completed, is like, or, um, focused on cold temperatures. Uh, the Mimic will obviously always have gor or gorbs, <laughs> ghost orbs, I guess. That's not what we call them. There were people calling them gorbs since the beginning that never caught on. <laughs> gorbs, <laughs> gorbs never caught on. Um, yeah, the orbs will always be a part of the Mimic. Dots will always be a part of the Goryeo because that's it's like the only way you can tell Goryeo is using the dots, which is horrible because the dots, finding dots of a Goryeo is extremely difficult, so really annoying. For the Obake, always fingerprints because their whole ability is surrounding fingerprints. And let me think, I think that is it. Did I forget any of them? I don't think I forgot any of them. Um, so yeah, those are the ghosts that have forced, uh, evidence. The yokai, for example, does not have spirit box forced, even though obviously it hunts earlier when you, uh, yell at it a lot. Can we do any objectives? Cleanse? This is ridiculous. What an insane run. <laughs> I, I I love this game. Let this be a showcase. This should be a showcase for you that if you haven't played higher difficulties because you are scared of dying or something, don't be because it just fully depends on obviously your skill. If you're skilled at the game, honestly, I would say higher difficulties can even be easier because the ghosts are like they they act. I guess it's just what you're used to. They don't necessarily act easier. They don't do more because, as I said, the interactions are uh, actually lower on the on these difficulties. But yeah, the just because I'm so used to these higher settings. Oh, hi there. You cannot take a photo of this, by the way. It doesn't count for some reason. This is still not a ghost or still not a photo in any way. Let me just do the smudge stick over here. All right, we cleansed it. Count it down. Five, four three two one can you give us a sign that was such a cool ab <laughs> that's, that's so good man in this case like this is a good example of where insanity mode is kind of annoying to me because you would have to like purposefully stay in the shadows to get the ghost to hunt obviously we got it like instantly here this is really rare for insanity that you get it instantly but i've played so many games on insanity that like, I wanted to mostly focus on the lower difficulties because obviously I haven't shown those very much. So yeah, let me. This was just a one pass through. Let me know if you want to see this more often. Maybe compare the difficulties and do a perfect game on each of them. This could technically be a mimic, but I didn't see orbs. Oh no, it can be a mimic because the Welcome mimic. Back. I guess the mimic could have spear box as it's one uh, showing showing evidence. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Look at that reward. Instantly did it. How long was that? That was a six minute contract. Most of that was just me dicking around and I got 15. Uh, so yeah, now amateur mode doesn't necessarily have to be easier. It just fully depends on the ghosts and what happens. Uh, and I would highly recommend testing out the different difficulties. Albeit that if you do want to tackle something like nightmare or insanity, I recommend just watching literally any of my other videos because I always play usually on those difficulties or watching like a no evidence run that I've done in the past or the ghost guide if you want to go really crazy because there's a lot of stuff that you need to know um, uh, about the ghost abilities in order to really be able to rule them out because you're not going to be able to rely on your evidence all the time. Sometimes, like this case, I mean, I still needed to know that that was the Dio ability, right? But anyway, uh, let me know if you enjoyed that. Hope you did. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you just like it, just like it. And if you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat, you can join us over at twitch.tv slash or click the link in the description down below. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.